second. Well, I'll be honest, I'm exhausted, so I felt like I played. Um, you know, it, it was a tell of two halves, and, and our defense the first two quarters was non-existent, and our offense was stagnant, and we, we turned the ball over too many times on three-second calls and push-off calls. And so, you know, we, we, we've just got to – we've got to get off to a better start. But our team's resilient. I keep telling you all that it's resilient and um, made some corrections at halftime and and they made defense a priority. And so when you, when you go into the – second half and you get 13 stops in a row, you understand the importance of defense and you understand the importance of rebounding. And attacking the basket. We got enamored by the three point, our three-point shooting, which was not very good. And so we started attacking the basket. And we got in ones and we went to the free throw line and, and what has been our Achilles heel is, was, was a bet, one of the best things we did today was make free throws. Really proud of them for for stepping up in the line and, and knocking shots down. Questions from Coach? Start with Steve. What do you think was the reason for the slow start? Did you sense you turned the pregame warm up sort of, you know, maybe a little bit? Well, I, well I should, it's, Stetson's a good basketball team. I don't care if they're one and seven, they're, they're, they're a good basketball team and they're also missing two of their best players. So, very well coached. Um, you know, they gave us, obviously, they, they jumped on us early. Um, I will tell you this: we had we've had two very average practices leading up to this, and this year's the first time I've really said that because we've had some great practices. Um, so I don't know if it's finals. I don't know if we we didn't respect Stets. I don't I don't know the answer, but I promise you they respect Stets and right now and. Um, we, we, we can't have any we can't have any off times in practice. We just can't, and that's got to be a priority. Um, that's the only way we're going to get better. And we we were just average the last two games, two days. Lose the back. Uh, Holly, I'm sure the first half leaves a bad taste in your mouth. But what what's the biggest thing the team can learn from a slow start, uh, a flat start like this? Well. Um, you got to come in and, and, and have focus and understand exactly what we want. And um, these guys are fighters, and there's no there's no reason why we can't start off the game like we did in how we played in the third and fourth quarter. So they, they've just got to continue to understand that the importance of playing defense, um, taking good shots, rebounding the basketball. Yeah, I, I, Y'all know I preach defense and rebounding. And we didn't do that the first two quarters. In the third and fourth quarter, we did that. And, and in turn, we got good looks. And probably the second, the, the third and fourth quarter, um, we pushed the ball a lot more. And, and I wanted, every time we touched the ball, I wanted us to push the ball and get easy buckets. And, and we did that as well. So, you gotta get off to a good start. You gotta come in focused and ready. Holly, a two-part question. One, uh, Cassie, her status, and then number two, Mimi Collins struggled in the first half, but was a critical piece yeah. of the comeback in the second. Just talk a little bit about how Mimi did. Uh, Cassie's, uh, she's still day to day, and uh, just go by what our our trainers are saying. She's rehabbing, and um, that's a day to day decision. Um, yeah, Mimi was 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 solid, and. and I think sometimes Mimi's her worst enemy. She gets in her own way because she wants to play the game with perfection, and um, it's a learning process for, for her. But I, I thought the, the, the third and fourth quarter for Mimi, she set the tone with the defense. You know, she's a big, big kid out front. We, we pressed. We, we ran a um, three-quarter court press, and she was at the top, and um, she just caused a lot of havoc. Um, and her presence on the boards, both – Offensively and defensively were huge. Uh, I just think, think she, the more time she gets, the freshmen get, the better they're going to get, and maybe got some valuable playing time.
We needed her. We needed her. Uh, did you like the way that, that third quarter, even though it was, you know, you, you had to kind of grind it out? I mean, it was you good to have to make free throws and, and, and get defensive stops. Was that, you think that made that comeback maybe even a little more valuable in terms of what it might do for this team down the road? No, absolutely. Uh, if you're down, what, 20 points with 7 40 to go in the third quarter, um, teams of the past would have just folded. Panic. This group doesn't seem to do that. They just gathered themselves, regrouped, and um, started playing well on the defense. And it, it's it's not about one person. I thought Mimi Jackson did a great job on, on number one. We we she was getting ready to have a career night, so we we put Mimi on her, and um, she did an outstanding job. But it, it's a it's about all five of us committing to the defensive end. and. I think they understood it. So, you know, at the beginning, of, we got stops, we didn't score. But so we got to take advantage of getting stops and, and coming down and, and getting buckets and and, uh, and scoring off of, off of their turnovers. Mark, Matt. Hey, between Renaya and Davina, I think 44 points. Yeah. I think they only missed one free throw. Uh, I, I know you're happy with the defensive effort in the second half, but did, did it feel like they were kind of feeding off each other offensively, or especially in that fourth quarter, they kind of started to get to the bucket and, and help the team pull away? Yeah, I, again, I, I, I think of Vina Westbrook, this is two games in a row where she's been outstanding. And it started with her um, attacking the basket. She set the whole tone. And I think, again, she took good shots and um, she made a free throws. I mean, she was nine for nine. And, and then that got Ree going a little bit. And, and all fairness to Ree, she's, she's playing inside against the zone, and we haven't really worked with her a lot with that. And so we've got to go back and get her some more reps and practice being at the four and working inside. But um, I thought she, she did a great job, too, of, of, of uh, scoring inside, getting on the boards, getting fouled, and getting to the free throw line. Those, those two were – were really focused, and um, for what they struggled maybe in the first half, they, they zeroed back in and, and kind of took over the game the, the last uh, two quarters. I, I know the, the players were preaching at that, you know, getting fast break, defensive stops, yeah. pushing the ball, but when you have a team that is going to play zone and really kind of slow things down here, I think you guys only had uh, six fast break points. How, how does that half court offense improve and get better moving forward? Well, you got to move. You got to move the zone, and it was a zone that was sagging. They were packing it in and, and wanting us to hit outside shots, and, and we we weren't hitting our outside shots at the beginning. So, if you're not doing that, you got to move the defense, and you've got to get inside. You've either and, and they weren't allowing us to pass inside because it was it was so clogged up. So you got to move the defense by by quick passes, penetrating gaps and uh, those type of things. So that stuff we'll, we'll go back and work on the next couple of days and uh, we'll get better. We'll get better. Any other questions for Coach? I knew you had one more. I got one more. Got one more <laughs> you've got another big road test coming yeah. up at Texas. At uh, Texas. Uh, Joyner uh, Holmes is supposed to be back. For oh, that. she is? So you, I, where do you get all your information? You I, just, more, I, am, you I have book, Twitter man. embedded in my skin at this point. She's expected back for the game. Just yeah. what challenge does this present, especially to such a young team on the road, and how beneficial is it that you did have the Oklahoma State game already? Yeah. Well, I, I don't – Jordan Holmes or without Jordan Holmes, Texas is good. Uh, very athletic. They always put – we always have a pretty tough um, a game with, with them. I think two similar teams, athletic, run the ball, rely on defense, rely on, rely on rebounding. So hey, it'll be a, it'll be a it'll be a challenge. And, and I thought Oklahoma State did help us prepare because um, they're physical and they run and they they probably shoot the three ball more than, than Texas does. But um, you know Texas has been hit by some some injuries, but um, they'll, they'll be ready to play us. And uh, I expect it to be a be a, a, a great game and and for us to prepare and, and our team go down and we got experience on the road and and uh, hey we got to step up our defense. Lewis, last one I promise. Um, so I knew you had another one. You too, Lewis. 
So from um, the perspective of some of these games that have been very tight in the second half, like the, the UAB game, this mm -hmm. game, does, is that a teaching tool that you can use moving forward with this team for tougher challenges like uh, Texas or Stanford moving forward? Well, it's, it's always a teaching. It, it's a it's a 40 minute game, and um, I love how this this team has. They don't uh, they have a fight in them, and they don't seem to quit. Now we'll get down and uh, we'll get down on ourselves, but um, I just got to get it out of them that that. We're a great team and we're going to fight. And, and that's what they're going to continue to do. So uh, two, three years ago, down by 20, we I, I'm not sure we would have pulled out that or pulled out a, a send a game in, in to overtime like we did at UAB. So this, this team really believes in really each other. And that's been the difference for us. It's a close, tight-knit team. And when you have that, you rely on each other to help you pull you through because some are going to have great games, some are not going to have good games, but uh, they seem to pull each other through and, and genuinely care about each other. And and I, I think you see the result of us getting uh, down and then we come back and fight. And I love it. I love their resilience. I love everything about them. I mean, personally, I would like that we would never get behind, but they they seem to want me to stress out. So. As long as we can pull it through, I guess I can I can handle the stress. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you all.